big beautiful world called planet Earth. So I feel like everyone has done this at least once or twice or maybe multiple times in their lifetime. But there are certain things that are better taking pictures of than other things. Like I don't like to do selfies. But I will take I will take pictures of myself from time to time. But it's mostly from like from like my chest up. There's nothing uh on the internet of and I'm fully clothed by it, the way in all of these all these photos that I would take of myself. But it's from it's mostly from my chest up. I do have clothes from my chest my chest down, but um, I'm just saying that, and you know, I wear a lot of shirts. I wear a lot of shorts. I wear socks, and I know some individuals think it's weird. But what I mostly take photos of, and I'm not saying I'm a photographer or plan to be a photographer or anything with it that because I take most of my photos on my uh, on my phone whether it's it's a book that I'm planning on reading whether it's a movie poster at the movie theater that I'm planning on um, watching and I post that to my Instagram Instagram uh, feed uh, it could be it could be from a, a, a place I went to whether it's in Arizona whether it's in Vegas whether it's in Disneyland, or I mean Anaheim, whether it's in Ohio or 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 Hawaii or wherever it may be, or anywhere really in the world, I I just like taking photos on my phone. Now, some of the 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 uh, photos I take, I have to I I like taking multiple photos just to make sure that one isn't blurry or one that one isn't you know. Um, is a bad photo or or it's messed up or there's some sort of a backlight on it. I'm not saying I, I take the best photos on my phone or anything of that nature, but I just like taking photos. Um, and it's not it's not just movie posters. It's not just sometimes photos of myself. It could be a photo of a friend of mine that I have, I'm not saying I would ever upload that to or post that to my Instagram or anything of that nature. You know, it's good to have, it's good to have those photos just to remember what you did on that specific day or, and sometimes whenever I'm done seeing a movie and I post that poster in a feed on my Instagram, I, I remove that, uh, that one. But other than that, I don't like to, uh, remove photos unless they're like saved on my computer or or set or saved on a um, a camera like I'm filming these vlogs on. Now, not every single photo everyone's gonna like. I get that. Not every single video I upload is gonna is gonna receive likes or comments or things of that nature. Which I know that I don't read comments as much as I used to, but I know there are that people do comment on some of my videos and. That's okay. You can comment on whatever you want. I'm just saying, when I take photos, I'm doing it because it's something that I'm passionate that I like to watch or to to experience firsthand and to to uh, to have that as a memory and go back in my phone and look at all those photos that I took, whether it was from another state or from some sort of event or a hangout with a friend that you haven't seen in a while or. Things of that nature. And I'm not saying I'm going to ever post those friend photos unless I get permission from that said friend or that said person. Because that's what's most important is that I get permission. Which I would never... The only time I would do, that, like I said, would be with their permission. I wouldn't post it any other time except for with their permission. Um, with movie posters, it's, you know... I can't ask permission because it's just a poster of a movie that I went and saw or that I planned to go and see. And I have pictures of, of uh, my brother's dog. I have uh, photos of my favorite sports teams that I downloaded. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail of that. Um, all that stuff. Uh, I have photos from when I went to a, um, a wax museum in, in Vegas uh, for... for for my 30th birthday, I have, um, and basically have a bunch, just a bunch of photos, and I'm not, and that's not the half of it, I'm probably going to take photos when I go in 10 days from now, 
or 11 days from now to Disneyland and to the, to the, I know I keep repeating myself in, in these vlogs, but I'm just saying, I'm going to continue to take photos on my phone. I'm going to, and I'm going to keep those photos, the ones that are memorable enough to keep. Like, like when I'm taking photos of, let's say I take a photo of a future creator of myself, I'm going to keep that because that's a memory I want to keep and have for the rest of my life. If I can't have it for the rest of my life. Because who knows when I switch phones, what's going to happen with those photos. But I'm just saying, it doesn't have to be a feature of creators. It could be waiting in line or in front of a, a ride in Disneyland. It could be, it could be um, walking around the convention center taking photos of, of things that would be cool to keep. And I'm not talking about like merchandise or anything like that or booths or stuff like that. Um, and maybe I'll, maybe I will take more photos of myself at the convention, at Disneyland, at, um, wherever we decide to stop on, on that Tuesday. Um, maybe there will be fo uh, photos that I take of myself or that I take that I would, I would like to post on Instagram at some point in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. And maybe in these next... 11 days, I go get a couple more pair of uh, new shirts because I definitely need some new, some more new shirts because I, I think we're extending it, uh, the trip one more, at least one more day. I'm not 100% certain on that, but anyways, we've got a couple birthdays to wish, so let's just dive into that. Um, I, right? There's, oh, there's not, oh, oh, today's the 11th, okay. So, I would like to wish Dan Howell a happy birthday. I would like to wish Emma Emma Brooke Alley a happy 20th birthday. And happy birthday to Caitlin Nakin as well. So those are the only three birthdays we have today. There are one, two, three birthdays on the uh, tomorrow. So look forward to that. And we're... With tomorrow's vlog is going to be a weekly task update, and then, and then, like I've mentioned previously, I'm getting a haircut on Thursday. We're probably going to go out to dinner on Friday, and then hopefully I can go see the new Flash movie on Saturday, or I might have to wait until we get back to go and see that. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see on on when I can go see the new Flash movie because I really want to go see the new Flash movie. I want to go see a movie called No Hard Feelings uh, at some point uh, in the next several weeks. Um, and then there's the new Indiana Jones film at the end of this month. So we'll, we'll talk more about all of that stuff in tomorrow's vlog because tomorrow is the weekly task update. And uh, adding some new ones to the list and maybe taking a few off the list. We'll just have to wait and see on that front. But yeah, so... Be the best version of yourself that you can be for yourself. And once you've had practiced self-love long enough, which is what the what that what that part of the outro is, you will be able to find your true love story at some point. After you've practiced self-love for so long that you know how to how to navigate it and you can love someone else after you've loved yourself for so long. Anyways, I will see you with the weekly tasks tomorrow, and bye-bye.